So here are a couple Chena jackfruit. And here's our Chena jackfruit tree. Now, this tree has been in the ground for at least 10 years. And we've been getting jackfruit uh, for many years now, but a lot of our customers have never been able to taste the fruit. Uh, that's because we had one customer who really, really loves this variety. And, you know, like I said, call me anytime, day or night practically, and I will be there for the jackfruit. And so he sort of bought us out of Gina jackfruit for several years. Uh, unfortunately, um, he had to move out of the state for his job. And, but fortunately for everyone else, <laughs> Gina jackfruit's now available. And uh, anyway, I noticed these two fruit were ready to pick the other day, so I picked them. They came from this lower branch, and I stepped back from the tree and noticed something else. This, this limb here is dying. There's one more jackfruit on this limb, and it was too much for that particular limb. You know, it, they, it gave its all to form the fruit, and the leaves and everything just sort of suffered a lot. Jackfruit has a reputation for, well, when it produces too many fruit, the whole tree can die. And here's a situation where if the fruit are on just one part of the tree, that part of the tree dies. So as soon as I pick that fruit, I am going to cut the limb off. is the area that really got stressed but the rest of the branch was low anyway so took it all off and it looks like a nice jackfruit tree now it looks like the rest of the tree is very healthy so we're looking forward to a long life and lots of jackfruit from this tree